uh, I think uh, Mahesh Patil is now with us, uh, uh, Chief Investment Officer at uh, Aditya Birla uh, Asset Management Company. Uh, Mahesh, great to have you with us here. Good morning. Appreciate your time here on CNBC TV 18. Uh, we we seem to we seem to be in the throes of a bit of a correction, uh, Mahesh, uh, which is persisting, which is different from the last one and a half years where things have quickly moved around on the upside after a day or two of fall. Uh, this is a little longer than that. Just your thoughts before we get into sectors and what you like. Yeah, uh, good morning. Uh, so I think this is a correction. What we are looking at is probably the much needed one because uh, the kind of one-way rally what we have seen okay, in the last one year or so, okay, that has actually uh, led to some amount of kind of a or exuberance, okay, in a few pockets in the market, I think, and uh, and especially in the mid and small cap space, uh, we have seen the markets slightly go ahead, going ahead of the fundamentals, and uh, I think uh, what what we are seeing is now now is some amount of kind of a moderation over there, some correction. Again, uh, uh, while uh, overall outlook still remains fairly robust, uh, there has been some amount of uh, slowdown. I mean, not slowdown, I would say, but. Uh, the recovery, what we are looking at in the consumption is slightly tad weaker. Uh, as we get into the next fiscal year, you will see that the uh, strong earnings growth, what we have seen in the last two years, okay, will naturally come down probably to in the low teens or so. Uh, nothing wrong with that, though. Uh, at the same time, we are seeing that uh, on the global side also, more recently, we have seen that there has been some kind of a interest back in China. Probably it's more of a trading interest because uh, Chinese market had significantly underperformed. Uh, there's a lot of value over there and we saw some money moving, especially in the last one month, uh, almost like 25 to 30 billion dollars has gone into the uh, Chinese market is what it looks like. And and I think uh, uh, that has uh, led to the uh, kind of a softness in our markets, more so in the mid and small cap space after the recent uh, kind of uh, circular okay, which came from uh, SEBI. Uh, just trying to caution investors and trying to just make them aware that uh, the uh, risk associated okay, with the uh, medium and small cap space. But I think that uh, overall fundamentals are still fairly good. Uh, we uh, don't see any major challenges as such. Uh, inflation is, uh, while inflation print globally has seen slightly at the upward move, and expectation of rate cuts, also what we're looking in the US, initially it was four rate cuts. Now, probably I think uh, this week is going to be a fairly busy week in terms of the uh, uh, policy makers. So we'll see. But I think now the expectation is you'll probably see only two rate cuts. So so I think uh, in, in this backdrop, uh, some moderation is something which I would say is, is a welcome thing. I, I don't see, especially at Lifty, I don't see any very large correction. Probably some more downside in the middle and small cap space. But again, uh, this will be a market where you have to buy on dips rather than be uh, selling into the, uh, uh, into the downturn. Mm. Uh, Mahesh, just to pick on that point where you said that the expected consumer demand pickup has not materialized. Where is it that, um, you know, the market expectations are not anchored in reality right now? Uh, where could we see a positive or negative surprise based on your channel checks with the picture on the ground? Yeah, so I think uh, a, uh, on the consumption uh, side, currently still uh, there is a slowdown over there, especially the uh, FMCG sector and the bottom of the pyramid, right, where uh, the recovery is still slow. I think we'll have to see how the uh, uh, rural economy picks up, right, post-elections and the monsoon. I think that will be critical uh, in the next fiscal year for uh, to for overall drift up across the sector. Apart from that, the few sectors we are seeing some uh, slowdown is in the cement sector had a very strong growth in the last two years, a double-digit growth. So that growth has now kind of moderated down, okay, to around uh, six, seven percent or so, and we've seen some amount of price correction over there. So you could see some uh, downgrades over there uh, in in that sector. Uh, apart from that, I I mean, not material. I think uh, consumer discretionary, which was all uh, I mean weak uh, for the last two three quarters, I think that continues to remain slightly uh, lower. Uh, in the commercial vehicle space, uh, we are seeing uh, some amount of uh, kind of a moderation now after two years of very strong growth. Uh, so that's a sector which could probably uh, kind of uh, underwhelm on the downside is what what we think. And uh, apart from that, uh, I'm not seeing any major uh, kind of reasons to be uh, really concerned about. Uh, the IT sector is another sector which uh, has 
uh, I mean, there are a lot of expectations of a rebound uh, into the next fiscal year. But um, uh, I think it might take uh, another quarter, okay, whether uh, when we see uh, a meaningful uh, recovery over there. So mm. uh, there again, the commentary okay, from the uh, frontline companies is, uh, while order inflows are there, but I think the execution and I think the pace, I think that will take uh, some time. So I, I mean, frankly, I'm not seeing any major downgrade uh, to earnings for next fiscal year, uh, but uh, uh, some kind of a top line slowdown down uh, definitely there because of the deflationary pressures which are there uh, in the economy. All right. Hi, Mayesh. Good morning. Nigel on this side. Uh, Mayesh, what are you making of the supply of paper? You know, since you briefly spoke about tech and IT, uh, you have TCS today that large trade took place. So we're continuously seeing some supply of, of uh, you know, paper, whether it's from the promoter entities out here, whether it's foreign holders as well. Uh, you know, two ways of looking at it. One is a worry. Everyone's taking money off the table. The second other way of looking at it is, on the positive side is, the depth of the Indian markets. So which way would you swing? So obviously, I think uh, when you see money kind of, uh, I mean, normally some of the PE investors, obviously they would want to book some gains and they have a finite time horizon. But when we see promoters selling uh, in the market and trying to do that, have you seen that in uh, multiple instances recently? I mean, that shows that uh, clearly, um, um, I mean, uh, the promoters are seeing that this is a good opportune time really to cash in some of the uh, profits. So I think, uh, that, that shows that the uh, expectations, okay, at, at this point in time, the sentiments are very, very strong and it's a time where uh, investors are taking some gains. Some smart money is probably uh, moving out of the market. And, and that's, again, a sign of caution, I would, I would look at it, that uh, after this strong rally, what we have seen, as I mentioned earlier, it's time to really take a pause over here, look back, sit back and look at the fundamentals, uh, really focus on, on companies, okay, where... Uh, earnings growth and valuations are, are in sync. Okay, where there is a mismatch, I think one needs to really take out uh, money as a, or, or book some gains. Uh, you said the earnings growth could slow down uh, after what we've seen in the last two years or so. Is that priced in or do you think we're going to see some earnings, EPS, you know, some EPS cuts, uh, which could hurt the market sentiment? I think to a large extent, it's pricing because uh, if you look at the consensus growth, I think clearly uh, next year, it's moderate. It's nothing bad. It's still in a double digit growth, which is a very healthy growth rate. But compared to the strong growth, what we are seeing earlier, I think it is there. At, I think there could be slight, I think, uh, I don't know, but I think there could be some downgrade because the top line growth, what we've seen in the last quarter and then going forward, I think that could slightly be lower than what, what, what one is expecting. And the Margin recovery, what uh, what was driving the bottom line growth, I think that to some extent is now uh, uh, fully uh, there, right? Uh, one should not expect any further thick margin improvement because the commodity price benefit of those things is largely uh, been through. So I would say could be some marginal downgrades, but not much. And, and to large extent, I think the slowdown next is is is, is pricing at least in the large cap names. I would say uh, it's if you look at the Nifty. It is uh, somewhere near the long-term average, right? So, uh, so I, I don't see any major reason for the markets to be uh, too worried about or uh, getting surprised on the downside. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks a lot, Mayesh, for joining in and filling us in with all of those details. Wishing you a good day ahead, and we look forward to having you on the show yet again in the coming days.